Harnessing red light to combat deadly blood clot. Imagine if a simple change in the light we're exposed to could drastically lower the risk of life-threatening blood clots. Researchers have made a groundbreaking discovery. Exposure to long wavelength red light reduces blood clot formation in both humans and mice. This finding could revolutionize treatments for conditions like heart attacks, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms, some of the leading causes of preventable deaths worldwide. Here's what the research found. Mice exposed to red light for 12 hours had almost five times fewer blood clots than those exposed to white or blue light. Interestingly, the effect wasn't due to activity, sleep, or body temperature. These remained constant across all groups. Red light exposure seemed to directly influence biological pathways linked to clotting. Even more fascinating is that red light exposure reduced inflammation and immune activity. Specifically, it lowered the production of neutrophil extracellular traps, or NETs, structures meant to trap microorganisms, but that also ensnare platelets, potentially leading to dangerous clots. Red light also increased fatty acid production, which naturally decreases platelet activation. What does this mean for humans? To explore real-world implications, the team analyzed data from over 10,000 cataract surgery patients. Those who received blue light filtering lenses, allowing less exposure to blue light, had a lower risk of clots, especially among cancer patients, who are nine times more prone to clotting. Crucially, this effect seems tied to the brain's optic pathway. In blind mice, red light had no impact, and directly shining it on blood showed no change in clotting. This highlights the role of neural mechanisms in this phenomenon. The researchers are already developing red light emitting goggles to test this therapy in high-risk individuals. This non-invasive and inexpensive approach could save millions of lives by reducing clot-related deaths and disabilities globally. While clinical trials are needed to confirm these findings in humans, the potential for red light to improve health outcomes and inspire new treatments is astonishing. Could light exposure be the next frontier in medicine? This study makes a compelling case. This video is based on the research paper, Alterations in Visible Light Exposure, Modulate Platelet Function, and Regulate Thrombus Formation, by Elizabeth Andraska et al. in Journal of Thrombosis and Hemostasis. What do you think about this research? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.